have to experience. Without objection. I stand before you not as a Democrat speaking to Republicans, but as a American who recognized that if I had to think of one of the most important assets that our country has had, and after we talked about our flag, our military, our dem democracy, uh, I think that uh, we all would agree it's our middle class. They're different from most people. Uh, they're not recognized worldwide. They're not the rich. They're not the poor. They're people who struggle every day. But it's their dreams, I think, that make us different from any other country and any other democracy, knowing that in this country there is no glass ceiling. And no matter what we accomplish, that we can dream for our kids and for our grandkids. Today, through no fault of their own, uh, this dream is being shattered. It's being shattered by the death of this. It's being shattered by war. It's being shattered by losing our kids, losing our jobs, losing our hope, increased prices of oil, and people are concerned about where do we go from here. I suggest to you that no one can challenge the fact that this country cannot go any further than our middle class. So it's up to us to find out how do we handle this and how to explain at a time when they're in most need, not just in terms of dollars and cents, but in hope that this country is going to pull out of this as we have in the past. And so what did Dr. McDermott and Congressman English do? They said, no matter what happens to this country, whether we win or lose, you can depend on one thing. We will not give up on the American middle class. Now, you can talk about deficits and trust funds. You can talk about PAYGO. You can talk about anything. But you're not going to let this country drown because of technicalities. The middle class is there when we need them. They're there to consume and to buy if they have to. They're there to fight and die in our wars. And now comes an opportunity where we come here together and we say it's not much. We've got to struggle to repair the economic damage. But in the meantime, those of you who have worked every day, those of you that we've not said thank you to, we're saying to you that we're going to be there because through no fault of your own, our country has let you down. I yield back for the technical things, but I do hope when we get back home that all of us can say we didn't do everything that we wanted to, but at the time this bill came up for suspension, we were there for you. I'd like to yield to Dr. McDermott.